Get sunburned. Heat stroke. Hmm? Sneeze. Haha. <laughs> Why is the sun the way that it is? I don't understand how it developed the power to make a sneeze. That doesn't make any sense at all. Stop resisting. I'm here to save you, says Russia. Save me? From what? Asks Ukraine. From what I'm about to do if you keep resisting. Have we moved on to country penguins at this point? I knew it was only a matter of time before we dived into country animals. I've always known country furries have pretty much existed from the beginning. Just been too afraid to check it out. Although I do like that Chili is a snake and country penguins have been a thing. Yeah, I'd rather not die dive into this. Brad, wake up! Brad, according to the legend, you're the chosen one. Are you serious? <sighs> one more goddamn thing I gotta worry about. Oh, sorry, bro. This is literally the last thing I need in my life right now. I'm gonna be the worst chosen one ever. No job, no education, no friends. I have no future. World War Three has begun! Now no one has a future! Yeah! Do to do what a lovely day. It's weird how good you feel once you realize everybody's in it together. Now we all out here gonna be a bunch of losers. Puny human, follow me or perish, says this dragon. Ha! Dragons aren't real. You can't hurt me because this is just a dream. Very well then, human. Return to your miserable reality. No, wait. I take it back. <laughs> be my master. Just don't make me wake up. Oh, these comics are really depressing. I don't think I should be reading these right now. It's a been a fun, Yoshi. But only a one is a destined to achieve victory. Yahoo! I wish I could say that more perfectly. Yahoo! Whatever. Ugh, what a twist. That is what I believe Yoshi probably would do. Everyone famously talks about how you just like launch Yoshi into the pit before you hit the end stage. But let's be real. In reality, he would never make it that easy. Go Blastoise! A water type, huh? Then I choose Oddish. Oddish. It's not very effective. Doop doop. Psh, just spray him down with some water and bam, 20 HP. Oddish is literally invincible. Still waiting for basically a Pokemon version of a country ball game. That game would sell so much. We'll need your account number for this. Oh, no problem. I'll just take a trip to the old mine palace. Mm, okay, walking in. I think I remember this place. Actually, no, it seemed to have kind of let itself go. M Master, is that you? It's been a while. Wow, this place looks like crap. Sorry, I didn't expect to see you. These are my buddies, Trisha and Derek. Hey, you holding? Crash. Hey, don't throw those. Those are expensive. College level algebra. The frick you say to me, nerd? Yeah, frick him up, Derek. Oof, I'm sorry. Oof, stop, please. Uh, sir? So that's what happened to literally all the knowledge after the third grade. God, I hate Trisha and Derek. Building good habits. Whew. This is so difficult. Versus building bad habits. I built this giant castle literally in three days. It's so annoying that it works like this. You just kind of accidentally construct like the Burj Khalifa. And then you got to try to tear that sucker down one day. Millions of years ago when these long neck dinosaurs were around. They turned their long necks into a rocket ship. And left Earth to avoid the meteor. And they've landed somewhere on the moon. Many years later though. Boom. We've got horses. Rawr as they look back on Earth. Wait a second, that looks like a good place to go back to. Oh, disguise yourself, that's right. Find that same horse and then plop it straight down. This is exactly what Charles Darwin was talking about, wasn't he? I've never noticed the similarities between these dinosaurs and modern day creatures. And I don't think I'll ever be able to look at them the same way again. Hi, I'm a werewolf. To keep myself and others safe, I have a special containment system. Oh, she literally just surrounds herself with vacuums. Is that where all the werewolves went in 2022? Did we finally figure out, oh, we just have to like have vacuum cleaners around and they won't come out. It's kind of sad, they went extinct. Oh look, it's a cute little Palau nation. The USA, Spain, and Japan all going, aww, as they're all huddled around this cute island nation. And then I said to them, do you hear me, Phil? The Philippines will always be jealous of the other cute P nation name, the P nation, the other nation with the name that starts with P. And these are like the best three countries to surround them with because the Philippines have had history with all of them. Attention, at this time, all platinum members may begin boarding. Now, regular passengers, now are why would I ever want to board a plane early club members? For reals, I don't understand. Like, why? what is the point? Why am I gonna pay extra just to sit on that plane for an extra 15 minutes as people walk by? Even if I'm in, like, Group C, somewhere in the middle, I'll just wait till the end. Filling up this cup with some gasoline and, oh, putting that into his car. Okay, interesting. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, oh, I get it. What do we do? What can we do? That'd be literally false advertising if you say you can't do it. This man thinks outside the box. I'm sure that he doesn't hate you. Just say sorry to him. And every 
everything will be okay. You really scared me. I thought someone attacked you or something. Just give me a hug, says Canada to, I think, the Netherlands. Aw, oh, they're hugging it out. <coughs> Did I just walk into something? Wait, what the- what- what is this? I am really confused, and I have no interest in asking any more questions. I'm afraid if I dive deeper, I'm gonna be scarred for life. What gets you out of bed in the morning? Asked this snail. Alarm. No, I mean, what drives you? Car. Can't pull a fast one on this guy. He's always thinking two steps ahead. Oh, one of those online personality tests. I used to love those. What kind of bird are you? I bet I'm a beautiful peacock, or a wise owl, or a graceful- You're a seagull. You are very loud and love to eat garbage. Well, I do appreciate the the honesty, I will say that. This cat ripping up the couch. No, stop! Look what this dumb cat does to our couch. It's a natural impulse. Just get him a poster, something to scratch on. Yes, that's right. All cats are natural DJs. It all makes sense now. It would, it would. No, the difference. Okay. On one side, a pyromancer, of course, someone that can wield flames, versus a pie. Romancer. Oh, a guy that uses pies to romance people. Both equally as powerful, I will say that. This was perfect for pie day a few weeks ago. There's this thing I do on the weekends. It's not much, but seeing the surprise and the excitement from people finding my loot feels really nice. Hey guys, I think I found something. Blah, it's just a stock T-model sword. Never mind. This dungeon sucks. That's the most depressing thing I've ever seen. This skeleton is literally doing it out of the goodness of his heart and you don't even appreciate him. Could be out there making money, but he does this to increase the excitement. Taiwan be like, can I into mainland China? He <laughs> he. Of course, China responds with, no, I real government of China. <laughs> Man, country humans I see have uh, really, um, really evolved since the last time I saw them. They're slowly upgrading the jokes. I'm so terrified of them finding out about Russia and Ukraine. Can I have a lock of your hair for sentimental reasons or dark magic reasons? Snip snip. Sentimental reasons, as the seagull shows this empty book. Ah, okay, here you go. Poof. <laughs> Evil! Should have never known to trust this bird. This is probably why that one girl got the seagull. She clearly is messing with too much dark magic. Webcomic battle time. This should be fun. Fun? Yes. Let's have fun. All these epic comic artists battling it out with their traditional art styles. Please, no more fun! Ugh. So whatever this is just bursts through his chest. I really want to see this anime now. This sounds legendary. This guy's sad with his broken heart, but maybe this guy can do something about it. Let me fix it as he- oh, he's giving him his half-broken heart too. Good as new as he puts it together with a band-aid. Thanks. Wait, I'm- Confused? I don't know if I should be sad or horrified. You turned it into like a weird, it was not even a heart anymore. It's like an orb. I'm scared now. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Little? Did that kid just call me little? <laughs> little, you say, as he approaches Earth. Okay, okay, big star, big star. As his entire family and house has now been burnt alive. I'm afraid it's a little too late. This is what must happen to other similar uh, Earth type planets around in the universe. You say this one too many times to the wrong star, and this is exactly what goes down. Honey, are you still mad? USA asks Mexico. No, no. Come and eat now. He <laughs> he. Oh, wait. No. Uh, something tells me m maybe Mexico might be a little mad still. Just, just a tiny bit. But you know what? The fact that they were able to spell out these Spanish words with bacon and eggs is impressive enough. They're not that angry, right? <sighs> What are those? Screams America. These are my crocs, responds Australia. Cro those are crocodile. Those are not traditional crocs, I see. All right, mate. Lunchtime. Aggressively chomping. <laughs> Please put it back on sleep mode, Florida. Yes, mate. Hey, want to see some crocs too? Oh, of course. State of Florida always loves seeing crocs. They love crocs themselves. Oh, wait. Do they love alligators? I'm not sure. That's right. They mostly love gators, although they do have some crocs in the southern tip. I've seen this map so many times, and yet I still cannot retain the information. Crocs are mostly in Africa, South Asia, and definitely all over Australia, and then alligators are pretty much in just the western hemisphere, except for the Chinese alligator. Man, how did this happen? It's crazy that these, like, basically dinosaurs still exist today. Throw the tree. I'll catch it. Just throw it. Can you please place mine on the floor and throw it at my face? I don't understand cats and dogs. There's just so many similarities and yet so many differences. It says here you're supposed to go to hell, but regular hell is full. We have to send you to dog hell instead. <gasps> Joke's on you. I love dogs. And he sits here alone. Wait, I don't. What? I love dogs. Dog hell. What? Oh, because all dogs go to heaven. I cannot believe I didn't 
realize that. I was expecting the vacuum cleaners. Beep, beep, beep. Here goes another thrilling day of school. Beep, 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 beep. Hmm. Maybe it won't be that bad. Gonna see bubbles. Gonna see bubbles. Gonna see bubbles. See ya. I'm heading out first. Uh, huh? What the hell? Blasting happy music with their cracked iPhone. It's gonna be a good day. I can feel it. Strolling on into class. Townsville High School all way- What's wrong, what's wrong with her? She doesn't look happy. What's up? Morning, Blossom. You're as early as always. She looks up. Wait a second. That's Blossom? Is this the Powerpuff Girls? I- just found out it's Saturday. <laughs> I am so thankful I've never actually had to experience this. I've come close. I do remember like getting all my school stuff together and like getting dressed for school. Luckily that's as far as it's gone. Oh, Townsville, that is a reference to the Powerpuff Girls. Key bar adding up at the top there as they're typing away. Oh, it's now it's really high in this middle of this meeting. Oh, I see. When you have the option to go pee, you're fine. But once you're locked into something, that's for some reason when the meter just loves to fill up. Why is the world like this? From the artist's inkwell, characters come to life. Wow, this is beautiful. Here they are, dancing around, how amazing. The artist realizes he really needs to get some sleep. It's a blessing and a curse, obviously. This is when I do my best work, though. I'm not an artist, but, uh, I don't- I don't sleep. I- yeah, that's- that's when you gotta do creative stuff. Er, where did you get that sword, asked this turtle? A lady in a lake gave it to me, saying I was the rightful ruler of England. Nah, only joking. I got it on eBay. Thanks for covering is weirdly wholesome. I like this. If some lady in a lake could give me a sword and I can just rule England, that'd be, that'd be fantastic. Is it even possible for me at this point to run for office? I feel like probably not. I think I've said too much. This is getting tough. I could use some carbs, says my brain. How about some fruit instead? Maybe I didn't make myself clear. Get me a cookie or the taxes don't get done. I don't get bullied by anyone else as much as I get bullied by my brain. Who you calling butthead, butthead? I don't know why I felt the need to break out into a biff and person there. The rules are simple. You win or you die. Oh no, squid saw. You have 10 seconds to get this sleeping bag out of its bag. Oh, that was easy. Now you have three hours huh? to put it back in. No! Everyone knows it's literally impossible to put the sleeping bag back in the bag, just like it's literally impossible to put, like, tent equipment back in the bag, too. When I see people exercising, trying to extend their lives, I'm like, Why do they want to live so long? What could they be planning? <laughs> World domination, that must be it. There's no other reason. Mark, can you see how the tinfoil hat might make Zerg feel as though you're shutting her out? <laughs> That actually took me like five seconds. It'd be so great to have an alien wife. Just have a tin foil hat on and you won't even hear anything she says. Well, that's like the most boomer joke I've literally ever said in my life. I feel weird now. I feel like th the comic set me up to be boomer and then I just embraced it. Go! Monster ceiling sword! Gotcha. Oh wow, it's literally trapped inside the blade. And therefore I post it that the true monster is our captor. <gasps> well put. Here, here. Huh? Schler. Wait, what? Are they starting a communist revolution inside of the sword itself? Proletariat will rise up. Seal of disapproval. Sweet. An abandoned tank, says these cats. Hey, you filthy mutts. You do realize what this means. Oh, wow. All the, uh, I'm assuming these are probably Ukrainian pets with a new home. That's weirdly adorable, even if the situation is bleak. Hi, are you guys open? For three more minutes. Oh really? So can I still get something? You could, but I'll hate you for every second that you're here for. Okay, great. I'll have a- It will literally never go away. I refuse to go into places like 30 minutes before they close. Koala fingerprints are almost indistinguishable from humans as this one robs a bank. And thanks to their lazy nature, koalas as we know them, no one ever suspects the koala. Poor Australia, that's why their banks are so messed up. It's not that they were a former prison colony, it's actually because because of these dang animals living in the trees. Ooh, future history book, prehistoric time. This caveman and a wheel. Medieval Europe, everyone. Wait, why is this guy a zombie? Is that like the Black Plague or something? 20th century, of course, we have like WW2, Gandhi, people on the moon. And then finally, 2020, Among Us, Nono virus, bad economy, conflict everywhere, all over the world. This is actually 2020 season six, so uh, clearly it gets pretty in depth. I love how like this spans over the course of like 90,000 years. This is probably a few centuries. This is one century, and then they're breaking down 20 years into six seasons. Give me that fancy designer purse, lady. It's not designer. Chop this guy's head off. It's a knockoff. Okay, that... 
that is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, that was good. I actually started a comic. Will it work? I hope it will. I really enjoy painting my world. It would be great if you liked it. Oh, that's, again, I need some wholesome stuff like this. It's been a lot of depressing things today, so I appreciate the niceness. Yes, I love reading, but also not gonna read these terms and conditions. Yes, feeding your, uh, dog? What? A potato is but. What? Okay, I don't understand this one. Yes, buying this $2,000 pen, um, but your signature, that is literally my signature. That's why I don't buy pens. Yes, looking all good in your clothes, but hey, this guy still looks pretty fun. Oh, oh, you look like you're tatted up, but in reality, not that much. Yes, looking good, but yes. Um, oh, you clean, but then you got to pull the handle. But finally, yes, this New York snow globe, but made in China. That's that's pretty much how it is, everyone. You know, it's not surprising. And big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Young Waifu. Fat Nuts. Gerbil Boy. Why am I doing this? Sussy Melody. Rye the Pie. Nora the Bald Free Smiley Philip Lover. Philip R.F. Orton 5610. Drew's Argentinian Alex Grandpa. Alex Whitley is Mega Chad. Alfonso M6. Alfonso M6. Fat Norwal. Arian After Hours. Barnes Bring CW. Back Canadian Ball. Union. I Stole Drew's Pet Louise. Dog. Luxembourg Majestic Lover. Unicorn. Max Cooper. Nick Bloor. And Mimoshiki.